For this drawing we've been given a pentagonal pyramid in the top view and the front view and then the question requires a sectional top view and a sectional left view using the given cutting plane AA. To start we need to number and we always start with our numbering in the view that we can see the true shape of what we're cutting which of course is here in our top view. So we are going to start by numbering each of our corners and then the apex of our pyramid is over here and I'm going to label that with a B. Now to find the apex of or the center of a pentagon is on another one of the videos on this channel which you can go and look at if you don't know how to get that point. But we've found point B already and we've got some light lines drawn from each of the corners up to point B which we're going to use later for the cutting. Now that we've gone and labeled our top view, we're going to transfer that labeling from the top view into the front view. So just following our points from 3 there, 3 projected up, that would be 3. 2 projected up, that's going to be 2. 4 projected up, that'll be 4. 1 projected up, that'll be 1. And then 5 projected up, that'll be 5. And then of course the apex B is over there. Okay, now we're going to go and project okay, each of our cutting points down into our top view to start with our sectional top view. So each of these points here, okay, where your cutting plane cuts a line in your front view, you're going to take all of those and you're going to project them down into your top view. So I'm just going to project those all. Now you'll see one of those points I haven't projected down. It's the one which cuts on line B4. Because the line B4 is a vertical line in the front view, there's no point in us projecting that cutting point down because it's simply going to project onto line B4. To be able to get that cutting point, we're going to need to draw our left view. Okay? It's the only way that you can get a cutting point which hits into a vertical line in the front view. So to, we're just going to go and draw our normal uncut left view to be able to go and get that point. And we're going to draw it in in construction because of course we have to complete a sectional left view once we're done with the sectional top view. So I'm just going to project all my points across and up. Okay, and then I'm just going to follow my points. Here are all the base points, point 0.4, that'll be point 0.4 there in line with 4 for my front view. This of course will be 3 over there. I'm going to just put those labels in light. And then that uh, 5 of course is in line with 3 there, but because you, you're looking from the left, you're going to see 5 first and then 3. So this would have to be labeled 5 comma 3. And then, of course, here you're going to see 1 first and then 2. So that would be labeled 1, 2. And then, of course, that is my apex B at the top there. And then I'm going to go and draw this in in construction. I will be able to see line 4 over there, line 5, line B5 would be there, B3 behind it. And then line B1 with B2 behind it. Okay, now that left view, the uncut left view, we can now use to go and find where the cutting plane cut line B4 by projecting that same cutting point across into the left view, okay, and then finding where it cuts line B4, which of course is there, and then we're going to take that point and we're going to project it into our top view. So we take that point there, down, 
and across and there's line B4 in our top view so we've taken that point across where it cuts line B4 we're going to mark that cutting point there our other cutting points then are quite straightforward okay we cut here on line B3 so that point brought down onto B3 okay we're going to mark that there clearly and then the next one cuts on line B2 so project that down onto line B2 mark it and then B1 cuts on B1 over there so we project that down until it hits into line B1 and then the last one B5 cuts B5 there so project that down until it cuts B5 now we've got each of the cutting points all we have to do is join those up and by joining those up that gives us our cutting plane in our top view and then once we've drawn in the cutting plane the last thing that we have to do of course is we have to hatch our cutting plane at a 45 degree angle okay to indicate what's been cut this is quite a large surface that I am hatching so I'm going to leave decently large distances between my 45 degree hatching lines this is not to waste time okay. and then the last thing of course that you have to do is go and draw in each of the parts that are left and of course from point 2 to the cutting plane is left there same for 1, 5 and all the other points so we're going to just draw in our dark lines that we need which will join up from the base points up to where the cutting plane starts okay so there's our sectional top view that's complete and then onto our sectional left view over here the same kind of thing we're going to take each of the cutting points and we're going to project them across we've already got one of them the one on b4 so we don't have to do that one again and then we're going to take across the one that hits into b3 and simply go and find where b3 is here and mark that cutting point and then we're going to take the one that hit into b1 sorry b3 b2 take the one for b2 across and there's b2's line so we're going to mark that and then the one for b1 project that across and there's line b1 so we're going to mark that off and then the one for b5 project that across and there's b line b5 so mark that off over there so we've got all of our cutting points in our left view and the same thing here we can simply go and join each of those up and if you ever get confused with how to join up your cutting points just remember that you take them in order so you'll see here that I've joined the one which hit line hit line B4 okay to the one that hits into line B5 and then from 5 to 1 then to 2 then to 3 and back to 4 again so as long as you keep numerical order it shouldn't be too difficult and then of course we've just got to go and darken the lines which are going to be left coming up from the base to where they hit into the cutting plane now interestingly in this drawing they've said that they want all hidden detail to be shown and because of that okay despite the fact that you've got a cutting plane here you're going to have to include this piece of hidden detail because they've asked for all hidden detail to be included and then of course we have to go and draw in our hatching lines again with a decent distance between them as not to waste too much time on them
And there we have our sectional left view complete.